Guide to Setting Up Sephira. Sephira consists of three separate components. One, a sterile syringe. Two, the driver. Three, the foot pedal. Preparing the driver for use. The Safira driver is fitted with a protective foam black cap on the driver gear. This needs to be removed when the driver unit is unpacked for the first time. There is no requirement to retain this black cap. Attaching the foot pedal operator. The plug end of the cord goes into the round socket opening on the side of the driver. Unwrap the cord if necessary and place the foot pedal in an appropriate and convenient position on the floor. The foot pedal has a yellow coloured end nearest the cable for aspiration and a green coloured end furthest from the cable for infusion. Assembly and priming for use. Check the expiry dates of both the syringe and the driver before use. Follow local hospital guidelines for cleaning equipment before use. Using aseptic technique at all times, remove the sterile syringe from the packet. Remove the protective cap from the end of the syringe. Affix a filling needle to the syringe and using standard approved hospital technique, fill and prepare the syringe. Approved needle types. Anesthesia needles which fall into the following ranges have been approved for use with the Sephira system. The minimum sized needle gauge approved for use is 22 gauge. The maximum length of needle approved for use with this system is 120 millimeters. Aseptic technique should be used at all times as appropriate during syringe filling and connecting the needle. Remove the selected needle from the sterile packaging and remove any safety caps. Connect the needle securely to the end of the Sephira syringe. Once the needle is secured, prime the needle and tubing set to remove the air, following standard procedures. Once primed, attach the syringe to the driver unit. Align the syringe with the driver unit and gently press the syringe down onto the driver. It will be seated correctly when you hear a click. How to operate the driver. Place the driver in an appropriate and safe position. When ready to begin the procedure using standard hospital guidelines, aspirate first by pressing on the yellow end of the foot pedal nearest the cable to check for the presence of blood in the needle tubing. A yellow light will appear on the driver unit to indicate that the aspirate function is active. When ready to inject the anaesthetic, press on the green end of the foot pedal furthest from the cable. A green light will appear on the driver unit to indicate that the infusion function is active. If the unit detects an unsafe pressure during the infusion process, the driver will automatically stop infusion and a red flashing light will appear. Should an infusion stoppage be encountered during the procedure, the operator should verify needle patency and or reposition the needle to allow low pressure infusion and then reset Sephira. To reset the flashing red light on the driver, the operator should aspirate by pressing the foot pedal on the yellow end nearest the cable to aspirate the unit until the red light goes out. The procedure can then be continued. If the Sephira unit cannot be reset or the unit stops working for another reason during a procedure, the operator can remove the syringe from the driver by pressing the coloured syringe release button and complete the procedure in the traditional manual mode. Disassembly after use. After completion of the procedure, remove the syringe from the driver by pressing the coloured syringe release button on the side of the driver. Disconnect the foot pedal. The driver and foot pedal components should be cleaned and stored according to hospital standard practice for reuse. The driver batteries are adequate for approximately 200 procedures.
Follow standard local hospital protocol for disposal. The sterile syringe. Use acceptable practice for biohazard waste. The driver should not be disposed of as unsorted municipal waste. Dispose of unit in line with local guidelines. Foot pedal should not be disposed of as unsorted municipal waste. Dispose of unit in line with local guidelines. A printed Safira Instructions for Use document is supplied with each box of syringes. An electronic version of the Instructions for Use document is available online through the Meadowvate website. Alternatively, see the link on the product labelling or contact your approved Safira distributor.